Hello everybody and welcome to Hobbyist Fish Keeper or indeed welcome back to Hobbyist Fish Keeper if you're one of my subscribers. Uh, thanks for joining me again. Um, today's video is going to be about these little guys, the little hermit crabs that I have in front of you right now. So this video is uh, a collection of videos that I've been making over the past couple of days to be honest. Um, do stick with it, there's some very interesting um scenes scenes yeah scenes that i caught towards the end i caught one of them changing shells and one of them outside of its shell so you get to see what a hermit crabs looks like out of its shell so i own uh, an electric blue and two scarlet leg hermit crabs um the curl level on these is easy stroke beginner level um they are really peaceful super peaceful fish uh, fish super peaceful crabs and are completely reef compatible so they're not going to be chomping up your corals um and just a great addition to any tank um they've got such funny personalities they do such funny things when you're watching them um if crabs could have personalities that is uh, sometimes they just they're, they're sat on the top of the rocks and they just jump inside the shell and they just drop to the bottom. It's kind of like a lemming jumping off a cliff. It's hilarious to watch. And recently I've actually been watching my crabs more than my actual fish. Um, so let's get on to the conditions in the cur for these crabs. Ideal conditions, you're looking temperature wise, uh, 72 to 78 Fahrenheit, which is 22 to 25 Celsius. Uh, pH of around 8.1 to 8.4 and a salinity of 1.023 to 1.025. Tank size, um, I've got three in this. This is the Fluvalivo 12.5. I'm thinking of getting two more. Um, so yeah, about five in this this size of tank. But if you're, you've got much bigger tank, you can possibly get a whole colony of them. Would we call it a colony of crabs? I don't know, possibly. Um so yeah what do they eat well they are fantastic algae eaters um if you watched any of my last few videos you've noticed you will notice that i had a, a big diatom bloom and they have completely destroyed my diatom bloom um yeah they've completely nailed it i did have some uh, green algae as well green hair algae and they seem to have chopped all that down too but they are also fantastic scavengers and they will eat anything that is left behind by your fish, any uneaten food or, or, or any uneaten algae for that matter. Um, they are fantastic sand sifters as well. So I did my diatom bloom did actually spread across my sand and they've completely cleaned it up, completely cleaned it up. There's not one little bit of diatom on this sand now. Um yeah, they're just fantastic cleaning machines. And they don't move your sand around like like gobies do. Sand sifters, like when gobies can sometimes move the, the whole tank around, but these don't. They just literally just pick it up in the little pincers and clean it off and throw it away. Um, they can also help clean your corals as well. So they will eat any of any parts of the, the dead or dying pieces that are on your corals to keep them nice and clean which is, is quite good as well. It saves you having to, to cut things off as well and, and try and clean them up yourself. Um, Price-wise, I bought these three for 13 quid, 13 pounds, but they were listed as 550 each, so there was an offer on them. So yeah, in the UK, they're definitely not going to break the bank. I even dare say if you're watching this in America or Canada, I think you get the you guys get them even cheaper from what I've seen of, of other channels. Um, what are they not compatible with? They're not compatible with any kind of puffer fish or triggers or anything specifically with a beak-like mouth because they will just get gobbled up as a little little treat for them. Um, true crabs, big crabs uh, with claws, they'll just see them as a little snack. Octopuses, they would also see them as a little snack and prey on them, not that... You see many people keeping octopuses. Is octopuses the right word? Octopus? Octopi? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, you don't see many octopuses being kept 
in a reef at home. Now, I have said that they are easy, peaceful and for beginners, but you do have to help keep the peace. And to do this, you will need to throw in some extra shells. Now, I found this out the hard way when I first put these uh, crabs in. Uh, I just put the three crabs in and they kind of had a little bit of a tussle over who was getting which shell after a couple of days. But as you can see, I, I ordered some some shells off uh, Amazon. They arrived pretty quickly, even in this, this state of emergency that we're in at the moment. Uh, I dropped them in and as you can see, um, the piece has been restored and we have these little guys swapping out shells now and it's fantastic to watch if you get to see it. It really is interesting. Um, this, these little guys, they've probably swapped out of each other's shells probably two or three times now, um, I think, until they find the right one for themselves. But it, it's great to watch. They will grow to around about an inch in size, so the shells will need to support a crab of an inch inside so if you you purchase these when they're smaller you'll need to provide medium and bigger shells for them to swap over in um they they, they tend to move shell whenever they feel like it really um they will sometimes fight to the death if one of them prefers the shell that somebody else is occupying they will rip it out and unfortunately, yeah, fight to the death and the other one will move in. If there aren't any other shells provided, they could also kill your snails for their shells as well. So I have some Nasaria snails in here that are quite a decent size, but they're not big enough for these snails. But if you are purchasing them smaller, they may kill off your snails um, for the shell. Now... The other day I came down and I saw what I thought was a dead hermit crab. It was a few legs and a, and a bit of tissue that was flapping away, away in the, the current of the tank. Uh, and then a couple of claws that were broken off. Now, the first thing I thought was, oh no, I've lost one. Now, that's not the case. These uh, crabs, they do actually shed their, uh, is it an exoskeleton? Uh, shell skeleton uh, i don't know but they, they do shed so they come out of their shells and they they look like they're dying basically and i suppose they shed it in a similar way to how a spider sheds its its skin as well or a snake they literally just wiggle out the back um, and they leave a little imprint of a, of a hermit crab uh, lying on the sand bed and then they will go back inside the shell that they've chosen. So yeah, don't panic if you, you one day turn up to your tank and it looks like you've got a dead crab. It's probably not. Just have a quick look around your tank and, and have a quick count up. Um, and I'm pretty sure that you'll you'll find that all your crabs are accounted for. Um, the first time I did this, I actually thought that I'd gained a crab in one of the shells that I'd bought at first. But... On closer inspection, I, I could see that it, it was just um, a discarded, shedded skin. So, what else can I say about these little guys? Well, considering the, the size of the crabs and the size of some of the shells that they've chosen, they are fantastic climbers. Like, they would give Spider-Man a run for his money. They are, really are great climbers. Uh, they crawl all over these rocks. They hang upside down. Um, and they're just really, really fun to watch. So there we have it. That's my little um, cur guide on these little hermit crabs. I recommend them for any kind of reef as a clean-up crew or just as an addition to watch because they are fantastic little beasties. Once again, thanks for joining me, or if this is your first time, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. That would be absolutely fantastic. I'm coming up to 1,200 subscribers. That's crept up really quickly since I hit 1,000. So once again, thank you very much. And um, yeah, hopefully I will be uploading another video this week, uh, possibly on what I feed my reef. So thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you all again soon. Cheers.